Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is time to update my 12 lipsticks of 2023 project. I have made a decision. But first, let me update you on my progress. Last month I introduced this. It is the MAC Pretty Me Up Tender Talk Lip Balm. Um, this is what I have left. I will put a picture of, I think it'll go up there or maybe there, I don't know, wherever, who cares? I will put a picture of my progress um, up on the screen. I'm really happy with my progress. I've been finding it very easy to use and uh, all of that progress was made even though I had it in my handbag and forgot about it for about 10 days. So I've only just very recently pulled it out and started using it again. So I'm really, really happy with that. Now, the other lipsticks that I have in the project, I don't have any progress on. And the lipsticks that I have left, which are these guys, I've made some decisions. So I'm going to plonk them down there, stop rolling. I'm going to introduce this. This is the Pat McGrath uh, so Sexy Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. I'm going to put some of this on right now over my Tender Talk. Uh, so I'm going to introduce this and I'm going to start using it because it's quite similar to the Tender Talk Lip Balm in the fact that She's sheer and she's balmy. And when it comes to the rest of the lipsticks here, I'm gonna swap them out. Maybe not all of them, but definitely these two. I'm gonna swap them out. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I'm still working on unpacking boxes. So I don't actually know where my lipsticks are at the moment. And when it comes to the hourglass, I think what I might do is swap out two of them for, again, like sheer tinty balm type lip products or lip glosses. Might try and keep one more in just for like a challenge, but again, I'll introduce them later down the track. After using the MAC Tender Talk Lip Balm, I just decided that if I wanted this to be successful, I had to be realistic. I have to introduce products into this project that I'm actually going to use. I don't use traditional lipsticks, not nearly enough to ever consider actually finishing one properly. I'm only ever reaching for stuff like this because I have dry lips, I have dry skin, I find them more comfortable, they're easier to maintain, they look better as I start to wear off. I can put them on without a mirror. Like I just, this is, this is where my love lies. This, not this, no, yes, no, yes. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm gonna pan the things that I just know that I will actually use. And that should result in some success. I think over like the next six months and you know in December when I go through my collection and do my inventory and all that jazz I will certainly be a little bit more ruthless or try to be uh, a little bit more ruthless when it comes to getting rid of traditional lipsticks. I would really really like to work on my hourglass lipsticks. I know that it will take a long time, but in reality, finishing one of these in comparison to something like this, this is a yes, this is a definite no. Never ever, never ever in your wildest dreams. This is, you might finish three before you die. For example, one of these uh, hourglass confession ultra slim lipsticks contains 0.9 grams. So that is less than a gram of product. And these uh, Sigma Infinity Point lipsticks, this is a beautiful color to be fair. Like I might not actually get rid of it. I might just, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, these contain three grams of product. 
So for every three of these that I finish, I'm not even quite finishing this. It's much more realistic for me to hold on to these and use them when I do want a traditional lipstick rather than try to struggle town my way through something like this. Lipsticks are one of the four real problem areas in my makeup stash. It's lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, uh, blush, and highlighters. I feel like all of those parts of my stash need, let's just call it a hoard because that's what it is. They all need a really, really big shakeup and I need to make hard decisions about them. This product just made me go, oh, just do it. Like, just pan what is easy for you to pan and you know when it comes time to declutter or you you know if you pull out a, a normal lipstick and you try it and you're not like oh my god I freaking love this and I can't even imagine getting rid of it like then get rid of it you know I don't need to have so much I would prefer so much to have less and be able to use a lot of my stuff and then be able to buy some new stuff. There are new products being released every bloody day in the makeup and beauty industry and I'm not beyond the desire to purchase and try new things but I feel burdened by what I have because I have so much and I don't want to exas exasperate. There we go. I don't want to exasperate that problem for me. I don't want to overwhelm myself even more. So I'm just going to do what I think would be the smartest thing and that is pan the easy stuff and really try hard to let go of the things that aren't a part of the easy stuff category. And I'm not saying I'm going to declutter all of my standard lipsticks. That's not going to happen going to do it the way I have been doing it for years. I'm going to be mindful about it. I'm going to do it little bit by little bit so it doesn't hurt and I don't miss anything. And along that road, I'm also going to pan stuff that I just think is easy because it's what I gravitate towards. I really should have just made this decision last year when I planned on doing the project, but I was like, no, we're going to you know, give, give yourself a challenge, Hayley. You can do it. I believe in you. Even though I didn't believe in myself, even though I have tried to pan lip products in the past and I know what I can and can't pan, I know what's realistic for me. But I suppose this is the, like, the full-on acceptance moment. Feel free to leave your comments down below, whatever they may be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.